Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm the house cleaning expert at Rejoice Maids. Today, I would like to show you how to clean a stove in between cooking. You know, Monday to Friday, we cook dinner for our family, but don't have the time to uh, do a deep cleaning on our stove. Well, today, I would show you how to do it on, in a fast and efficient way so that you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, in the kitchen. Uh, so this is the stove that we are going to clean. As you can see, there's a lot of debris and uh, from my cooking, a lot of grease and a lot of, um, I guess you can call it uh, leftover food from all the cooking that I've been doing. All right, so I'm going to show you a close up uh, look on how dirty the, uh, how dirty my stove. Here it is. I let it accumulate for the last uh, five days because we were talking about cleaning in between uh, cooking on the weekdays so that uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time during the weekend to clean your stove. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do when cleaning the stove is, st is to start from the top, which is this is the top of the stove. We're not going to clean the microwave, of course. I know you can see the microwave, but we are not touching that. Today, we are concentrating on the uh, stove. I will be spraying the product to the stove so that you can see it, uh, how it will touch the surface of the stove. Let's see. Here we go. You know, it's the, the good thing, that the one good uh, sprayer that you can use is the one that spread um, uh, the, the, the solution just because when it sprays um, to the surface, when we spray it in the surface, it spreads it. I don't have a lot of time to clean uh, during the weekend to do a deep cleaning. I cannot do that because I have a lot of things to do. Um, anyway, I will show you how to do it now. This, I already spray it. I pre-sprayed um, the stove. Uh, now we are going to wipe it. So I would, what I do is I will just, um, here, I will show you more so you can see it better. All right, so I will just lift this. See, as you can see, it's dripping. Our product is dripping. So mind you, uh, just FYI, we are just doing a quick cleaning of the crate. This is not a deep cleaning. We are not using anything heavy. We are just using the piece of paper towel that we had folded. And uh, we are cleaning the stove in between cooking during the weekday. Um, I will show you that now. Look at this. It's very dirty. Let me get put it in the corner here and use another one. I keep on um, spraying the um, <clears throat> paper towel so make it wet so that it's easier for the uh, food or the, the uh, leftover um, grease to stay in my paper towel or stick to my paper towel. All right, so here we are it's much better now that is just using one paper towel and uh, goes to saying um, this is I think because we are using a very good product so I highly recommend for you to find or, or if you're using a, a good product to make sure that it's something that will help you clean uh, efficient efficiently so that you don't have to waste your time um, cleaning. You know, you have, we all have plenty of other things to do. Uh, instead of spending so much time in the kitchen, we can use it to uh, spend time to ourselves or with our family. See now, look at that, that's a big drip. It's really, really dripping. I did that on purpose because it's much easier. It's much easier to clean it when it's uh, so uh, the the dirt is loose. It's not sticking to the surface of the stove, and the um, the surface of the crate. There we go. Here we go. See, just wipe it off with the paper towel. You can go to corner to corner. Let me move the camera so you can see it. I'm hoping that you can see this. Um, 
my camera is actually not registering on my phone so I am cleaning blind here anyway I am trying to see if uh, we can do it without seeing myself on oh, never mind that anyway look at this you see how clean it is now earlier it was really really dirty but this is just using three paper towels look at this it depends like I said the product that you use have a big thing to do with how you are going to be efficiently uh, cleaning your stove because it will help you it will help you uh, with your time preparation and also with your um, effort to do the cleaning sometimes when we're not using the correct product uh, it will take us long longer time just because we have to fight the dirt or whatever it is that we're cleaning um, uh, using the wrong product but if you are using the correct product it is easier it helps a lot and the, the dirt doesn't accumulate you see that I always like to um, when I'm cleaning my stove, I like to do corners as well, just because the grease goes to the corner. So the stove is clean. The way we cleaners, I'm a house cleaner. I clean houses for 13 years on my own. The way I learned to my experience on how to determine if the surface is clean or if I did a good job, not just by the eye, not just by looking. You look, you step back. So, uh, you step back and you touch the surface. Your hand will, your hand will let you know if you did a good job because you will feel it. You will feel the cleanliness. See that? Keep in mind, we did not do a deep cleaning today. What we did is a fast cleaning in between cooking during the weekdays now if you want to do a deep cleaning for the stove it's gonna take a little longer than what we did today and it's gonna require more elbow grease okay a very simple way of maintaining the cleanliness of your stove in between cleaning or when you don't have the time to do a deep cleaning after frying a fried chicken or like me, I like to saute a lot of vegetables. So if you need, um, if you don't want for the grease to accumulate, like in my stove all the time, do an in-between maintenance cleaning so that you don't have to get stuck in the kitchen trying to remove a very heavy accumulation of grease. I'm Gemma, the cleaning expert. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or come visit our website at rejoicemates.com. Thank you so much for watching. You have a clean day.